Hi guys, welcome to our life one channel. In this video, I will show you about management of hemorrhage. Management of hemorrhage the steps are reassure the patients, immediate resuscitative maneuvers, locate the bleeding point. Now the hemorrhage control. Control must be achieved rapidly to prevent coagulopathy, acidosis and hypothermia. Surgery may need to be limited to the minimum necessary to stop bleeding and prevent sepsis. Damage control surgery to prevent physiological exertion. Some methods for controlling the hemorrhage such as mechanical method. It includes pressure pack, use of hemostats like mosquito forceps, artery forceps are designed to catch each bleeding point, sutures and ligation, embolization of the vessels. This picture shows mechanical method that is pressure pack on bleeding point. Now the thermal agents of hemostatic such as electrocautery, cryosurgery, electrosurgery, argon beam coagulator and laser. There are some chemical methods also and such as local agents, for example astringent agents and styptics, bone wax, thrombin, gel foam, oxycell, surgicell, fibrin glow, adrenaline. And the systemic agents, for example, whole blood transfusion, platelet rich plasma, fresh frozen plasma, cryoprecipitate, adrenochromono, semi carbinogen, and ethyl silate. Control of humerus from major arteries. For example, ligature of lingual arteries, ligation of the facial arteries, ligation of maxillary arteries, ligation of external carotid artery in carotid triangle, ligation of external carotid artery in retromandibular fossa, and ligation of any other vessels in the bleeding point. If patient has gone into shock stage, then we should give him fluid therapy. Fluid replacement is aimed towards normalization of hemodynamic parameters. If the evacuation time exceeds one hour, an intravenous line should be introduced and fluid is started before evacuation. Crystalloid is the first plate of choice for resuscitation. Immediate administer 2 liter of isotonic sodium chloride or lactated ranger solution in response to shock from blood loss. Each liter of fluid expands the blood volume by 20% to 30%. Therefore, 3 liter of fluid need to be administered to raise the intravascular volume by 1 liter. Colors restored volume in, in 1 is to 1 ratio. Currently available colors are human albumin hydroxyl stars product. In patient with hemorrhagic shock, hypertonic saline has the theoretical benefit of increasing intra vascular volume with only small amount of fluid. The combination of dextran and hypertonic saline may be beneficial in situation where infusion of large volume of fluid may be harmful, such as in elderly person with impaired cardiac activity. When bleeding has been controlled, careful evaluation of the patient should be needed like any personal or familiar history of bleeding tendency, history of surgery or dental extraction, history of hematuria, is it bruising, hemarthrosis, epistaxis, history of cancer or any vascular diseases. 
Laboratory screening test should be done such as bleeding point, clotting time, platinate clone, thrombin time, partial thromboplastin time. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel.